I'm Heather Dunn, and I am a senior lecturer in the Department of Animal and Veterinary Sciences. My name is Catherine De Benedetto, and I am the, in the Agricultural Sciences Department. My name is Don Hagen, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Forestry and Environmental Conservation at Clemson University. My name is Hunter Massey. Uh, I'm in the Department of Ag Sciences. Within that, the Ag Mech and Business Program. My name is Jim Faust. I'm in the Plant and Environmental Sciences Department at Clemson University. My name is Sherry Rodriguez. I'm an assistant professor in the Forestry and Environmental Conservation uh, Department. My name is Greg Batt. I'm an assistant professor in the Food, Nutrition, and Packaging Sciences Department here at Clemson University. Caffles is actually a really unique college um, in the university, and that is because it's the only college to, to have all three components of the land-grant mission. Again, this is research, teaching, and extension outreach. We have incredible staff and faculty and students here on the main campus who do a lot of incredible research and a lot of incredible work, but I think CAFL's strength really goes beyond the main campus. We have you know, research and learning centers all across the state, um, and we have staff, faculty, and students in those areas doing really incredible work as well. We have a great opportunity for experiential learning for our students. So not only do they get the hands-on, but they also get the application. Our students have the ability to go out and actually apply the knowledge that they have heard about in the classroom. Here, uh, right surrounding campus, we've got 17,500 acres of forest, and this is our living laboratory, uh, our, our, our outdoor classroom uh, for dozens of classes inside of Capitals. Hands-on experiences allows these guys to speak. When they get onto the job, we find that these guys are able to kind of hit the ground running because they've done this before. They've operated this type of equipment. They've run these type of tests before, and they have kind of a, a first-hand knowledge of, of a, lot of the, a lot of the content that, that exists in our program. Overall, in agriculture, one of the biggest issues that we have is how are we going to feed 9 million people by 2050? and it's not gonna just take one farmer or one person that's interested in agriculture. So it's gonna be important that my students understand how to prepare everyone of all walks of life that could potentially come into their classrooms for some of those um, problems that are out there, the big, wicked kind of problems that we have to deal with. So the students have the ability to take the knowledge that they gained from CAFLs, whether it's from on the farms or working with the animals, they may start a new career, they already have hands-on experience, they already have this experiential learning. The focus of my research is, is really problem solving for, for greenhouse growers. So I work on um, projects that are relevant to um, the commercial success of greenhouse businesses, uh, mostly in the area of flower production. It, the graduate student team that I work with, that research team, one of the primary things that we develop are tools. Uh, tools to aid uh, those who design protective packaging systems. Since our research focus is mammary gland development, we're really focusing on the biology of how these cells develop. We're trying to make animals more efficient without necessarily having to increase the number of animals. For human health, we are also interested in mammary gland biology and what impact this has for potential breast cancer studies. So we have human health implication as well as studying animal science. So my research has an impact on South Carolina. What we're basically doing is focusing on the importance of being able to prepare students um, to go out and teach in agricultural education. So we need an abundant supply of diverse and quality, um, high quality students that can go out to prepare our next generation of agriculturalists so that they can become critical thinkers and problem solvers. And the focus of my research is, is providing management solutions for these forests. When we think about trying to manage these 13.1 million acres uh, in a changing world, we're dealing with climate change, we're dealing with a growing human population that presents problems and issues that we haven't dealt with in the past. And so we're trying to equip a, a new generation of foresters uh, that, that, that have the tools and the knowledge deal with these growing problems. You know, we have a really diverse faculty in, in CAPLs, but we are growing. We are bringing on new faculty with new specialties, new research emphasis, um, and, you know, this brings new expertise. And the thing I think that makes CAPLs very unique uh, is the fact that it's more of a family-oriented setting with the students and, and the faculty that's involved in those programs. The important, unique thing about us is that we feel like a family. 